Thank you, Sandra. People usually ask whether governments can play a role in IPv6 deployment, if it's necessary or even recommended for governments to do so. And what would we recommend? And what governments and states can do to sort of promote and favor the deployment of these protocols and technologies? And historically, we've always been sort of wary about favoring regulation for different reasons. In the first place, technology sometimes has a faster pace than regulation, and maybe regulation can become obsolete quite quickly or immediately. And also because there are different ways of uh, achieving the same result with greater flexibility. And that's what I want to share with you. This presentation provides a bit of a summary of a presentation, a longer presentation or broader presentation that we have used for some government agencies and those who have reached out to us and are interested in learning our opinion about this subject matter. So if you are interested in going deeper into this topic or maybe contacting your own government agencies or operators. Sometimes this information is not information available to decision makers. So if you would like us to reach out to your government institutions, you can please let us know and we can discuss our options. So You know what LACNIC is. We are one of the five regional registries in charge of uh, managing the internet uh, number of resources. And we are based in Uruguay. We have about 12,000 associates, could be companies, universities, providers, government agencies, users, in general of internet number of resources. And we are here because IPv4 has run out for practical purposes. There's no more available in the region or other regions for that matter. And we could maybe recover some slots, but for practical purpose, we, purposes, we'll say that there's no more IPv4. And why is it important for governments to play a, a role in the deployment of IPv6? We cannot see, Oscar, I'm sorry to interrupt. We cannot see your presentation. Can you let me know if you can see it now? Can you? Yeah, we can now, good. Okay, we can. Thank you, Oscar. I'm sorry, you weren't missing much. Just a million dollar slide PowerPoint presentation and that's it. Anyway, we're here because we've run out of IPv4. So what can we do about it? First of all, this uh, requires the involvement of several, not because we uh, are so rom uh, romantic, but uh, also because we believe that all of us have something to do and it's important for us to do it. So governments have to play the role and of course uh, the uh, providers and the content generators, as Carlos said, and the universities have uh, an extraordinary role to play in this challenge. And uh, um, of course, the end users, that is some everyday uh, uh, people, regular people, we all play a role. So the objective of the presentation is to tell you about uh, the role of each of us, and then I'm going to show what the rest of the groups might do. So why should we play a role as the uh, for us government? Uh, well, because um, well, because uh, initially it was uh, purely uh, technological and now it's more strategic. And the reasons of why now it's strategic, it's these three reasons. First of all, because uh, the traceability of the transactions in the internet is it's almost impossible to to uh, um, do it with IPv6. So the fact that there's no traceability, there, uh, gen 
causes a lot of challenges, not only because you have internet uh, security issues and people will mistrust the internet, but also because there are excuses to generate initiatives for a massive over surveillance of the internet precisely to meet that challenge. So if we had IPv6, this would enable us to uh, survey uh, would enable us the surveillance of transactions. So the excuse of allowing the uh, identification of users if any uh, crimes were committed would no longer be real. So this would, uh, of course, there are also some strange mechanisms that can be used, but uh, in the end, it uh, greatly favors the uh, traceability of transactions. That's the main reason. So going back to the capacity of mapping an address uh, to a group or a subscriber. And the second reason is that we have about 400 million users of the internet in the region, and there are about um, 240 million people in our region. So, and there are a bit fewer than 200 million IP addresses today. We are using already two users are sharing an, an IP. So if we were to connect the entire region, we will have to continue to share among more users and that limits our possibilities. So it is important that the project, government projects of access in distant areas through um, digital access projects, and coverage uh, in vulnerable areas, etc., may contemplate from the uh, design, they contemplate IPv6 to make sure that there is enough, uh, there are enough addresses for all users. And the third reason is that if we're not going to have enough addresses to connect the entire population to the internet, it's even that we are going to have even less space uh, necessary to connect all the devices that uh, there are plans to connect. Although, the most optimistic uh, projections of the devices uh, to the uh, connected to the Internet of Things have not been fulfilled. Sooner or later, we're going to have a significant demand for addresses to connect uh, different devices, sensors, etc., that start adding up to this constellation of uh, equipment connected to the Internet. So, um, as uh, the IP tags uh, get cheaper, it's going to make it easier. So we're going to have enough addressing. And the response to the different challenges is IPv6. Of course, there are mechanisms through IPv4, as we heard uh, CGNAT, that could favor temporarily some project. But we must pay attention because that will delay what is unavoidable, that is adequate investment, either in technology that is enough and necessary for IPv6, or just thinking to design head on to, uh, to include IPv6 in all the plans. So what can governments do? Well, what we said then is that there's a, a dichotomy between regulation and cooperation. So the state governments can always favor an action through coercion, making it mandatory. However, what we have seen is that far from promoting an immediate reaction or an effective reaction, this causes friction, especially at the beginning between the government and uh, the um, um, uh, the people with the concessions or the operators um, that uh, we intend to reach. And far from reaching uh, with solutions for the improvement of IPv6, the operators also try to limit those actions through legal means, uh, with appeals or something to stop that regulation. And another problem that we see with regulation is that they, they do not include the other entities that we uh, mentioned that could be part of this effort of collaboration and deployment of IPv6. And in the end, it is not very effective because they're going to just try 
to meet the minimum requirement um, by law, and that is not necessarily what we aim at. On the other hand, there is a possibility to do it through uh, cooperation, through voluntary commitments uh, the, to deploy IPv6 by the uh, various parties involved in the different processes, since there is no regulation and that it is established from the beginning that you don't mean to have a regulation. Um, well, those who finally participate at the meetings is no longer the lawyers, no longer the legal advisor that goes and look for the gap in the net, in the, in the law to loophole, uh, but it's the person responsible of the service, the engineer, the person who's looking for a way to find solutions to uh, enhance the deployment of IPv6. So the process becomes more cooperative and sometimes even as in uh, as um, um, motivating. We've been at meetings where somebody starts uh, talking of the plans and uh, the person by the side gets excited by sharing ideas and uh, decides to that from that moment on they have plans. Probably that person didn't have any plans, but what will happen is that when that person goes back to uh, their office, they'll say, well, we have to do something because everybody has plans for deployment of IPv6, so we'd better do something and fast. So this becomes more inclusive because you can invite the universities that I insist that they play a key role in the entire process. So you can invite uh, other entities that although they are not so regulated, uh, such as the CCTLDs, etc., or the um, ISPs. They can uh, collaborate. As Carlos said, the CCTLD is an important element because it needs to favor the um, uh, entry to the records of 4A so that you can see the IPVC six content so everybody has something to contribute in the process and it would be preferable to do it through cooperation so let me go on with the presentation there are several actions that the government can do and at different levels of applicability so there are things that can uh, that apply only for their own offices and that in itself already moves uh, the needle, because if you establish as a requirement that all the services, all the solutions of technological infrastructure should be in uh, IPv6 compatible, just that can move the needle for the deployment of uh, IPv6, because everybody wants to be able to uh, to sell it to the government and to participate in federal um, uh, uh, biddings, and especially the large companies, because and it's precisely these govern these um, that need these objectives and you don't hurt anybody it's quite a positive conditioning because basically it's a decision of the operator or the technology provider to determine whether they want to continue to play in that league or whether they want to opt out so these are the regulations that we see that are the most appropriate, those that apply directly to the uh, uh, government offices. Of course, the government has other tools for regulation through the licensees. We re don't recommend it as much, but of course they also exist. And also there are national um, uh, ones that, for instance, you can uh ban the entry of equipment that only uses ipv4 because that's a mechanism to avoid any obsolete uh, trash electronic trash so not only are you promoting ipv6 but you are also solving a general challenge for the countries that are not in the um edge and uh, sorry, technologically and that we receive obsolete technology so through regulations like this, you can favor some important deployments. Now, the interesting thing about these diverse activities is that 
not only is it done by a government agency, but you can also promote it through different government offices to involve uh, different stakeholders, either the uh, uh, judiciary or the digital strategies, the procurement agencies, uh, R&D, economy to promote certain economic activities. So it's important to identify the different players that may be favored by these decisions. And certainly they will add up capacities uh, so that this will indeed be, be done. So uh, as I was saying, I have a small part of how the users and some others can participate. Of course, the users have ways for requesting these services. Maybe if they need domestic uh, solutions or private uh, uh, solutions for their business, they may need the capacity to have access to each of those surveillance uh, devices today with IPv4. It is possible. We know that there are solutions for that. But finally, the user is paying for all uh, those elements and components. If uh, the, the uh, so um, uh, when we when you offer a, a complete, a comprehensive solution, it needs to be uh, a cleaner solution with IPv6. Of course, the gaming community pays a very significant amount to have access to their games, the things they're interested in. And definitely, those would be very interested in having a brief latency so as to increase the competitive in um, their training uh, competitions. It's an in, it's an an industry that is growing and the operators need to pay heed to some of these industries or niches, uh, not necessarily industry, but they are niches, so as to increase their revenues per user. So these are niche issues that uh, today are niche, but in the future they may play a key role and uh, be a significant share of their income. So the companies, um, uh, the, the, the users can also play that role with the domestic solutions, but also with these Internet of the Things solutions that may have solutions uh, to current challenges in a more innovative way, but the, the users play a role. So in a, as a summary, each entity that participates of those that we've mentioned here has something could play a role. They, they may they have a potential contribution because these are the benefits, for instance, of the ISPs or the internet service providers. These are the benefits for the um, academia. Uh, uh, the main contribution is uh, the education of uh, IPv6 trained uh, professionals. And that's essential because if the country doesn't have the training, of, uh, they don't have skilled resources, they will have to import them, and that's more costly and more scarce. So, and uh, we saw that uh, there are some of the uh, roles of the government. In summary, IPv6 is not a technology challenge anymore, but rather a strategic challenge. We need different stakeholders to become involved. And not all of the recommendations can be implemented in different countries. It depends on the regulatory framework, on the digital strategy, the degree of deployment of IPv6. But remember that for all, or at least some of these activities like can contribute and help or provide support if you are interested in us doing so, whether through training, providing further information, or just helping out in more specific collaborations. Um, if there's any questions, or maybe you can submit them here in the chat or contact me elsewhere. Thank you. Oscar, we do have a question, and I will read it for you. So what about technology sovereignty that has been regulated in some countries? 
So technological sovereignty, well, that is something that I would need to know what it really means, Carlos. So if you could provide maybe further details or elaborate a little bit on that. Oh, Robles, no, Oscar, sorry, Oscar Robles at lacnic.net. You can email me and then I can, I can answer that question later. <laughs> 